Greetings friends, it is Monday morning and I just came in here to check and we, we do seem to be getting some readings here now which are only small uh, and you can see it would make sense why the meter kept going on and off because it's only getting sent a small amount of power but we're definitely getting some amps here which is good and a very small amount here so I'm just going to leave that on recording for a few minutes and we'll see if we get any more uh, we've, we've got the solar panel, the bashed up solar panel set up and so that's what we're bringing in. We've got the controller set for 13.8 volts uh, is the float charge or whatever they call it and it's charging okay. But yeah, it's very good to see this actually working. I'm just going to record it for 20 minutes and then speed it up and see if we get any more than 1.79 volts, which I'm not sure we will. One more thing, it's just a reminder that we're powering this from these two wires which are connected to this 12.6 volt lithium ion battery. If the sun bursts through, we hopefully get a bit more than uh, what's going on here. Sweet. So we can see it's definitely working. What I'm going to do is come back later on and if we get a bit more bright sun, see if we can get a bit more power. But interestingly, that is actually getting warm. It's, yeah, it's definitely getting warm. What I've decided to do, we're get, getting some wind over the next couple of days. I'm going to leave this one set up here for now because I don't believe there's any way to hardwire this one in. Uh, I have got the replacement, but what I mean by that is this, if it's only going to be making a small amount of volts, then one of these isn't even going to work. So I'm going to run with this for a couple of days. So when there's some wind tomorrow or the next day, uh, we'll leave this one in and we can see how much it's dumping, because I'm hoping it's going to dump more than that with the wind turbine. But we'll have to wait and see. So here is the new meter. I will put a link to the description. It was £17.99 from Amazon. Probably just said that, I think I'm going loopy. There's the unit itself with some uh, instructions. And there's the shunt you get with it. So that is very important because it won't work properly without it. So yeah, that's that. You may see that in a future video, but for now, the other one's working fine and we're going to run with that. Cheers.